All right, now we're gonna do assembly. For one thing, we're gonna clean this case really good and remove all seals. Remove most seals, except for one. Clean this. Get all the oil out. Remove that lip seal right there. Get all the oil out of there. Spray the rag with a little bit of spray cleaner. This is the uh, emery cloth I was telling you about, very fine. Pan in the put the rip. Really looks smooth. Probably really don't need to do this, but I'll just run it right through that little groove. Just in case there's any little parts of debris in there, it does look pretty clean. Run this through again. down the inside. Now we're going to run the uh, emery cloth inside here where the, uh, the shaft bearing goes, the shaft bearing. Clean all the debris out of there. Good look. I'll clean, make sure you get all contaminates, contaminants and dirt out of there. Alright, now we're going to clean it off with the rag and some brake clean. Pretty much run your finger across it and feel it. That's how I found. That's how I find uh, scores and whatnot. Use your eye and use your finger. All right, now we're gonna clean this all off. Make sure that's clean in there. Inside the bore. One more good wipe. Install the uh, 
shaft into the uh, bore. We'll install the washer now that goes with it. Now we're going to install the seal, a little bit of oil, just to go around the lip to help it go on. Put a little bit on your finger, just put it around there. Just to help it go on and go in, and it will seal. Now I like to find a uh, socket big enough to put it in. All right, now we got that. Try to keep it straight. Actually, we should get the vise up for this. I use a deep socket to put the seal in. I'll demonstrate. Seat it in there nicely. Get your seal. Make sure everything's center. Turn it so it slides on there nice and smooth. Now we get that socket. To seat the seal. to go on evenly. Alright, now we get the new snap ring that came with the rebuild kit. And we install it. Most of the way, tap it in. That's it. All right, there is a uh, seal in here that needs to be replaced. This is the um, the flow control valve. I guess would be the name for it. Again, we're using the inverted torque socket. Take the square nut off. I'm sure, there's a special tool for it, but this works for me. So, we need to take that ring out, Let's clean it up. seal out. Alright, I had to remove the uh, swash plate assembly, now we're going to pull the shaft out. The swash plate, the swash plate shaft.
should be far enough because we're just replacing the seal. Actually, before we put the new seal in, maybe we should crocus cloth the side there. Right here, we're going to crocus cloth this. Crocus cloth that. Let's clean all the oil off. Get your piece of crocus cloth. Fine. Fine crocus cloth, not coarse. Quadruple zero. Looks like Brillo pad, but it's a bristle pad. You find it in the paint section with the sandpaper. You use these for uh, polishing mag wheels to aluminum mag wheels. Lights up nice. Okay. Now we're gonna pop that seat out. Pops out real easy. The bushing was nice and tight, so we're not gonna replace that bushing. Plus, it don't look worn at all. So, we're going to get our crocus cloth. Do the inside to there. that up good blow it out with some air let's find a seal that goes in there I do believe we found it. It's coming right there. Some oil on the lip seal. So the, slide, so the shaft slides right in there. The socket big enough to hammer it in. Short center, hammer it on in there. Make sure bottom's out. Put up against. Get 
get your, uh, your retainer ring. It's flared upwards. You want to put the flared upward side pointed up. I guess if you save the other ring, use it. The other one was way too big. Not applying too much force. Just enough so it can grab some traction on the side of the wall. So it doesn't let the seal slide out. So that's what those teeth are for. Hold the seal in place. Careful how you do this. You don't want to damage the uh, seal. Okay. Clean all debris. Blow it out. Push the shaft back through. Shaft back in there. Now, make sure that's at the bottom. That right there, that's pointing towards the bottom. And make sure that square piece stays on your shaft. The guide, the swash plate guide. Okay, now we're going to clean everything out again. Blow it out. I need to listen to that. Put your swash plate back in there. Carefully, use a little finesse to line it up. When I mean finesse, I mean use a little screwdriver. All I did was just move that guide in there. Clean everything up again. Your other piece of the bearing. The swash plate for the cylinder block to ride on. Get your washer. Get your shaft down there to hold your spring up. Put your spring in. Get your cylinder block with all the pistons in and the springs. Pull to the side. Make 
make sure it goes on the splines right. Make sure all your pistons are in the cylinder block evenly. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. There we go. Wipe it off one more time. Blow it off one more time. Install the valve plate. Remember in the valve plate, it says up right there. Make sure it's up. Put your seal back on. Get your uh, valve body. Make sure the ho where the hoses are face are facing down. Put your bolts in. All right. Now we're gonna pull those these bolts back out, and we're gonna put thread locker on them. First, before we do that, we are gonna put our shaft back on. So that on. Remember how you took it off? Put it on the same way you took it off. Make sure it moves. Make sure your shaft turns. We're going to clean this up. Emery cloth. Load off with some air. Cleaned up the keyway, put it back in. Get this 
fully on. Slides right on. Make sure the keyway is all cleaned off. Get your seat back a little more. All right, we got her seated. Now we install the uh, two pulley uh, shaft bolts that go on. One long one, one short one. The long one's gonna go where the keyway is not. And the short one is. Remember for that we use this special socket right here. It looks almost like a it is an inverted torx, an inverted torx. Almost looks like a 12 point. Drive them on. Check for play. Nice and tight. Nice. Now we install the uh, cam gear style pump in the back. All right. Clean this off. Their famous uh, rag and brake clean. Get your check ball or your check spring and check ball. Put it in that cavity. Don't lose it. Then we install the gasket in the uh, gear. All right, now we're. We're going to install the uh, oil pump. Uh, mind you, this is the whole hydraulic pump, but this is the main source. This is what builds oil pressure. So, first things first. Make sure everything's clean. Especially if you let this sit overnight, which I sure have. You're going to need your check ball. Make sure you put it right there. Put your uh, spring in there. All right. Now you want to make sure you get the right O-ring. This is the old one. This is the new one. Size them up. Make sure they're right. Okay. Make sure this is all cleaned out. No dirt, debris. Blow it out with air.
Put your new o-ring in. Now install your oil pump. You've seen somewhere sometimes these are tricky, so make sure you put it on the same way you took it off. Make sure your springs are centered. Your spring is centered in one of those holes. All right. Now we're gonna get thread locker, put on all our bolts, and torque them all down. and then install the pump. Thanks for watching, please comment below.